I have good news for those who are Korean speaking. The Korean version of my blog, Daring to Speak, 22 Ideas to Improve Your Ability to Speak English has come out as an ebook. I have provided the website addresses of those booksellers that sell my ebook, where you can order a copy of my book. I hope that you would benefit from this book. This video is the third segment of a series called Powerful English Study Tools. The first segment was the Ozdic.com website. The Ozdic.com website is an online English collocation dictionary website. And the second segment was COCA, Corpus of Contemporary American English. Because of its comprehensiveness, versatility, and multimedia approach to language learning, I believe COCA is the most powerful and the best English study tool that is available right now. I highly recommend it to everyone who is a serious student of the English language. And the third segment, which is this video, is about pronunciation. So the website that I'm going to introduce to you is called Uglish.com website. I actually talked about this website in the second segment when I talked about purpose of contemporary American English. The multimedia approach includes this website along with playphrase.me website. If you are from a country where English was taught mainly from the perspectives of English grammar, reading, and some writing in preparation for standardized tests, you were not exposed to and familiar with the sounds of individual words and also those words in context. Because you were busy trying to memorize the definitions of unfamiliar words, because you were expected to perform well on those standardized tests. These days, Many people use online dictionaries, and these online dictionaries do an admirable job of providing not only the definitions, but also pronunciations of words. But as with anything, there are some variations in pronunciations. So the pronunciation that you hear from these online dictionaries might be the same as, or a little bit different from the way native speakers actually pronounce those words. So I'm going to show you what I mean by taking some examples. Some of you do not have confidence in speaking English because you think your pronunciation is not right. You feel a little ashamed of the way you pronounce certain words and you want to perfect your pronunciation, but with just with anything, there's nothing like perfect. And even native speakers pronounce uh, words a bit differently. There are variations in their pronunciations depending on the regions that they are from and also maybe some personal variations as well you can benefit from this website in many ways. But I am going to zero in on three things, three things that can help you with when you use this website. The first thing is this, that you can learn the proper pronunciation of an unfamiliar word. So when you come across an unfamiliar word, you can check out the definition of this word by using one of the online dictionary. After you get the definition of the word, you come to this website, ugolish.com website, and you type in the word that you're not familiar with. And then the ugolish.com website, which relies on YouTube videos will produce videos that have the word that you're looking for. You can watch tons of videos that have the word native speakers would pronounce. By using this website, you can pick up the right pronunciations of those unfamiliar words. The second benefit of using this website is to earn learn the incorrect or wrong pronunciation of the words that you already know. Some of you might have checked the definition of the words and moved on, but others might have had taken the time to actually check out the pronunciations of those words you already know. But then so whether you are in the first category or second category, you might have picked up wrong pronunciations. And also these days people use online dictionaries. So these days they do a great job, an admirable job of providing not only the definitions, but also pronunciations along with other usages. But then just with anything, there are variations in pronunciations. The pronunciations that you pick up from online dictionaries might be exactly exactly the same as, or sometimes a little bit different from the way native speakers actually pronounce them. This Uglish.com website will expose you to those pronunciations because you will be hearing from multiple native speakers. The third benefit of using this website is to learn how to pronounce difficult words, people names, and place names. For example, recently I had to preach a sermon based on a passage in which there was the name Zalafahat. So it's difficult for you to really 
find the proper way to pronounce that word. But if you type in that word, Zalapa had in the search engine of the website, you'll be able to see many videos in which you hear native speakers pronounce the word that you're looking for. So if you're a missionary or a pastor working in an English speaking environment, this website can help you with the right pronunciations of difficult and challenging people names or place names. So without further ado, let me take you to that website. So now we are on Yugulish.com website. As you can see, there are three different ways of pronouncing the same word. Since I'm living here in the United States, I will choose US tab, but you can choose UK or Australia depending on where you live. Now, I want us to check out several words. And the first one I want us to start off with is this word, basic. I heard many South Koreans pronounce this word as basic, and the pronunciation basic is so prevalent that many people tend to think that this word is pronounced as basic, not basic. But the proper pronunciation is basic. So we are going to hear several native speakers pronounce this word. Let me click say it, hit US. We have 43,840 results. Yeah, those basic goals still uh the former president barack obama pronounced it as a basic those basic goals still hold true let's go to the next one a hospital that would give you a place to convalesce maybe some basic tools you really here you heard it as a basic and one last time began with the basic premise that the basic premise okay so let's go to the next word and this time it's p-h-e-n-o-m-e-n-o-n -E -O -O how do you pronounce this word so let's check out how native speakers pronounce this word i hit say it you have 8710 results it's this phenomenon in which our unconscious motive this phenomenon tree what's that that's what psychologists call the phenomenon of assuming that you once again it's a phenomenon mass incarceration is a post-war on poverty phenomenon again phenomenon old entrepreneurs live out this phenomenon phenomenon team and i was talking about this phenomenon Phenomen life is an anti-entropic phenomenon and Phenomenon. Effect with these, which is that phenomenon that happens when you plug your ears with something. Phenomenon. The better I feel and the lighter I am. And uh, I think this is possibly a universal phenomenon, which we'll also talk about. Now you heard it as a phenomenon. Instead of phenomenon, now you heard it as a phenomenon. About the Trump phenomenon because. Phenomenon. Let's turn to uh, one of the, the new phenomenons that's been going on. Phenomenon. Yeah. She's like a, a true believer. And that is a very important phenomenon. We often think that people... A phenomenon. So a lot of people, a lot of native speakers pronounce it as phenomenon, but you also heard some people pronounce it as phenomenon. So you have two ways of pronouncing the word phenomenon or phenomenon. Let's move on to the next word. This time it's this word. How do you pronounce this word? It's pronounced as specific not specific but it's specific specific so let's check it out it's really you know i've had like very specific ideas of things that i want i've had very specific ideas so there's been this idea of a pivot to asia yeah. and what does that mean to you in specific terms in specific terms space where the specific stands in for all where the specific stands in so all of the native speakers pronounce this word as specific one last time of uncovering that specific truth of uncovering that specific truth okay all right let's move on to next word this time it's w-o-u-l-d let's hear five uh, different native speakers pronounce this word all these but it's still thinking about what what is that like look what would that emotionally be like what would contribute to our society we would divert more of our resources we would divert more of our resources people would be social skills people would be social skills everybody would buy a plane ticket and end up everybody would buy a plane ticket no, with all the risks to his safety and his health some would say no some would say no so this w-o-u-l-d is pronounced as what very short would would i remember pronouncing this word incorrectly as would instead of would i made the same mistake uh when i pronounced a word w-o-o-d so let's check out w-o-o-d this time and you can make a distinction between w-o-u-l-d and w-o-o-d don't drum up your men to collect wood and and give 
Don't drum up your men to collect wood. So it's a long u, right? Whereas w o u l d is pronounced as wood, wood. It's the short u, wood, wood. Instrument maker, and she does a lot of wood carving for a living. She does a lot of wood carving for a living. So wood, wood. And so I think it's tremendous. And there was just a Robert Wood Johnson study. Robert Wood Johnson. Robert Wood Johnson study. Thick building is home to a museum displaying tapestries, wood paneling. And wood paneling, wood paneling took us into the wood carver's shop. And this is a wood cover. Stayed with it so the wood would have uh, horses supposed to carpet. So the wood had wood, wood. One last time. The reason that you see the uh, uh, reduction in energy expenditure wood reduction so that people could use the wood for other other buildings but they've reconstructed so that people can use the wood for other build other buildings meat and you know we walk up to this these gigantic 15 foot high cherry wood doors and he grabbed wood doors oh so once again it's wood the long u right w-o-u-l-d is a short u like wood whereas the wood uh, is a long u. wood and wood 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 all right uh let's try another word and this time it's o-f-t-e-n how often do you get it how often do you get it great and i often think why did these i often think painter paul Cezanne so often thought his works were incomplete so often sores are too often portrayed as passive often see this happen with leaders in decline suddenly people are not calling him as often and suddenly the whole often quality of care of the va is often better often and growing up people would often ask me if i knew Often. And it begins to actually often go against the grain. Often go against the grain. And often commits great harm. Often. Military is often. Uh, and so the word O-F-T-E-N is often pronounced as often. T is dropped. So you only have often. Often. But then some people also pronounce it as often. So T is pronounced often. Often. Okay. But more people pronounce it as often without the T sound. Often, often. Okay, this time let's try another word. How do you pronounce this word? So let's check out how native speakers would pronounce this word. Bringing, because I always felt completely comfortable designing. I always felt completely comfortable. So here, T is sound almost as if it's R, comfortable. So T is Wiccan. Of life, and and it's not it's not a genuine or or comfortable or. Here you heard comfortable. So T is pronounced comfortable. So I think it's time for us to be comfortable with the comfortable. You go ahead and sit back in your comfortable chair. Sit in your comfortable chair. Control. But we're not so comfortable. We are not so comfortable. So most native speakers pronounce it as comfortable. T is pronounced, although some people will not pronounce it as strong as one person pronounced it. So this word is pronounced as comfortable, not comfortable. And this time I want us to check out a couple of biblical names and a couple of place names. Here we go. The first one is my son's name, Moses. Moses. National Commander Moses McIntosh. Moses McIntosh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Moses didn't. Moses was the leader, but it was God. Moses didn't, but Moses is the leader. Moses didn't. Moses is the leader. Moses was their deliverer. He Moses was their deliverer. Beginning in verse 13, Moses says the following. It says, but Moses says the following. Okay, let's check out one more person's name. I recently came across this person's name, and at first I didn't know how to pronounce the word. And I came to Uglish.com and typed in this word. Boom, you hear the right pronunciation by these native speakers. These, most people have never heard of the daughters of Slofakad, but here's a story. He pronounces the word as Slopahad. Slopahad. Daughters of Zalafahad. Do you remember? And then this person pronounced it as Zalafahad. Of the five daughters of Zalafahad. Five daughters of Zalafahad. There aren't that many tracks where native speakers actually pronounce this word Zalafahad. Although one person pronounced that name as Slopahad. So I would stick to Zalafahad as more native speakers pronounce it as Zalafahad. So let's try uh, one place name here how do you pronounce this word so let's check it out Black radicals emerged on the scene near the end of what pineal joseph calls the heroic pineal joseph so jacob called the place pineal so jacob called the place 
penile. Now you hear penile, whereas the first person pronounced it as penial. I'm called penile to be leaders at a high school. Penial. Penial. And Joseph. then he references and refers to the experience at penile. When penile. To penile recovery program, penile where they have everything. Program. So a lot of the native speakers pronounce the place name as penile. Penile. Whereas when it is a person's name, it was pronounced as penial. Penial. So penial and penile. So let's check out one more place name. A-N-T-I-O-C-H. My persecutions and sufferings that happened to me at Antioch, at Icona. Antioch. Work with field blends in uh, Antioch in Oakley. Antioch. They all the way and traveled some. They came to a city that was also called Antioch. Antioch. There's a town called Antioch, which is Antioch. a rather part of relief to the Jerusalem church from the church at Antioch. Antioch. Maybe this is mockery, like the word Christian that was first used of them in Antioch, and that was a term of Antioch. Starts there and goes all the way to Highway 4 in Antioch. All Antioch. the Christian. It first appeared in Antioch when according to Antioch, Antioch the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Antioch. Uh, so, uh, as you heard, some people would pronounce it as Antioch. So T is weakened, where some people pronounced it as Antioch. They pronounced T clearly. So it's Antioch or Antioch. So this is how you can use the this website, ugolist.com website, which is a, such a wonderful tool that will help you with your pronunciation. I checked out several words like basic, phenomenon or phenomenon, specific, would and would and often, also pronounced as often, and comfortable or comfortable. And also we checked out a couple of biblical names like Zalapahat, Zalapahat, and Moses, and a couple of place names as well, Penile or Penial when it's pronounced as a person's name, and also Antioch or Antioch. I hope you found this website as well as this video very helpful. And I also also hope that you would be able to use this website as often as possible and improve your pronunciation. Please make sure that you stay safe and keep daring to speak. Until next time.